My name is Catherine Mead and I volunteer at MCC in a number of ways and one of the key ways right now is as the music director for the Soulful Worship and Praise uh, program and therefore I lead the Soulful Worship and Praise Choir. Wow, I've been involved with MCC. I've been a member since 2003, but I have been coming to the church. Um, started first in the 90s, uh, but I lived in Alberta during the time and then uh, Nova Scotia during the time. But when I finally came to Toronto, first thing was actually becoming an active and regular member of this church. Uh, well, the choir was supposed to be formed for a one-time event for uh, um, it was in 2016 and it was Black History Month and we were going to do one service um, and here we are. Uh, but it was about having during that month doing a service that um, we were able to uh, go back to our uh, African and or Caribbean roots and have that reflected in our style of worship. And so we did it once and then we kept doing it <laughs> on a quarterly basis. And initially those services were afternoon services. And then we ultimately were integrated into, uh, with a regular cadence into the um, regular 11 o'clock services, nine o'clock and 11 o'clock uh, pre-COVID. Um, and they usually happened about once every quarter or you know, at least two to three times a year. I think a lot of people are under the misapprehension that the, it's a refugee choir. And while many of our members are indeed, um, uh, have sought refuge in Canada from um, very trying uh, circumstances in their home country, it is a choir that's open to everyone. Ideally, everyone who can sing, that is, but it's, uh, it's open to everyone. And there are a number of, of members, including myself, that are born and raised in Canada. Uh, and so it is a mix of people and, um, and as I said, it's, it's open to anyone who, anyone who loves gospel music and can carry a tune. Well, leading the choir is very interesting. As I mentioned earlier, I'm born and raised in Canada, and so there are different cultural um, um, uh, ways of, of doing things. So it's been a learning experience for me without question. But it's been very, very rewarding, which is why I continue to do it. I love gospel music and having the opportunity to bring that to MCC and give it life at MCCT is, um, is amazing. So I enjoy it. And every time um, I really enjoy uh, meeting and working with the people that are in the choir. It was a real honor to be asked to be a part of this uh, 50th anniversary. Um, MC celebration that is an MCC um, you know we at Soul for Worship and Praise we've been a part of MCC now since 2016 and so to have that have our piece in the overall 50-year history be acknowledged um, that's a, that's a real honor and so I'm excited about being part of it I'm excited about bringing gospel music to that event and um, yeah really looking forward to the entire night uh, including our part. Uh, you know, one of the things that's been great, as I mentioned earlier, our transition from being sort of a, you know, an extra service on Sundays to then being brought into the uh, mainstream cadence of services uh, demonstrates the support that we've had from the uh, clergy and also from general members who keep asking for us. <laughs> um, I. Uh, uh, it's 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 really great and and the song that we're singing is uh, called look where god has brought us and it speaks to so many things uh, so many of our members have come from literally the opposite side of the globe god's brought them here uh, we've all made it through covid which um, that's what brought our choir to an abrupt halt and look where God has brought us in that respect. And just the 50 years, look where God has brought MCC Toronto. And so it's, as I said, great to be a part of the event and uh, great to be integrated into the work of the church.